Salutations, good day, good morning, good evening, or good night, wherever you're watching this from. Uh, we are the Renegades, and we have with us a special guest, Clinton. How are all? Yeah, he is uh, here with us for uh, for the week. You know, uh, he's been making a habit of drinking all of our Dr. Pepper, but that's okay. We have a surplus of it, thanks to these two right here. I mean, and if maybe I can go buy an even better surplus. Yeah. yeah. Trust me. It's, it's, well, yeah, yeah. It's, no. we're, we're, we're good. <laughs> So, uh, so we have uh, we emptied out the PO box not too long ago, and uh, we had a lot of this in there. And we were thinking to ourselves, hmm, it's only about a week or so until Clinton gets here. Should we wait? And might as well. Might as well. So, hey, uh, we're so, we're opening these right now, and there's a lot that is personally uh, like personally. Uh, uh, addressed. addressed here to myself, to Ben. And that's weird. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. Ben, you've opened other stuff before that's been I still don't know. just to you. I think last mail back. Like, like, please stop it. It makes me feel scared. <laughs> yeah, it makes me worry because it's just like, please no spiders, please no spiders, please no spiders. But uh, this one's only from Pixel Cube, so it's okay. Okay, we're good then. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. Other yeah. One, yeah. the other one we're not supposed to say the name, but it's just because of the handwriting. <laughs> oh, yeah, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and open that one. Peanut, will you... Uh... Yeah, give him the East Coast one. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Come here. All right. We're yeah. supposed to read that one because the handwriting, uh, I complained about it once, and sorry for whining about your handwriting. Actually, he's like, never mind. Wee. I'm going to walk a little further away. Wee. Inside baseball. Hey, Mike. Da 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 da. da. Oh, Mike, Mike is off screen. <laughs> oh, Peanut, you okay? Sure, oh, buddy. Oh, oh, Peanut. Was, was there a channel called My yeah. Life in Gaming? Was that good? Really? Well, son of a bitch, you're gonna be happy about this one. <laughs> um. Mike is off screen. Screen house. Spoilers. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. He's just yeah. tall. Yeah, Mike is just behind the camera. Being creepy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Disclaimer, uh, thank you for reading this stuff, Ben, since the others whine about my penmanship. I've never whined about it once. It was me. It was me. Also, I was uh, I was hoping to get my stuff to you guys by uh, episode 20 or 21 of these videos. Hmm. Uh, Tuesday, 8-28-18, written on uh, hotel stationery. Fun. Uh, hi, you guys at Renegade Media Group, or whichever name that you guys go by these days. RNG, mostly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and this is now me, Danny. Danny. Uh, I'm going to generate this and or my YouTube channel name of X4V10R. Okay, Xavier. Doesn't seem that I'm around there much at all, but I'm always around. Otherwise, my expertise is otherwise about past video games, mm. mostly like Mega Man. You may have noticed me on, my, on your guys' YouTube channel before, leaving uh, a few comments and video requests as well. Um, Came across you guys one night on YouTube searching for something that I found Nate and Micah watching through that uh, Honest Trailers Zootopia video that uh, I don't think I can get past that uh, relationship part of it. I've been a fan of you guys ever since. And one of my, my favorite uh, video of yours might be that Top 11 Best Movie Themes list video. That, yeah, that, that was good. video was fun. Uh, I also think you guys are doing a great job and you should keep it up. And that here's to hoping for you guys' YouTube channel to last a long time. Can only hope. Uh, uh, I watch uh, all of your Nostalgia Critic videos and the Death Battle videos and the live stream videos with retro video games. Mm -hmm. You! Yep. <laughs> there yeah. he is. That was Mike. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, me and Mike are about the retro stuff. Yes. I have two games now. I just haven't played that many since I've been here because I've been like, all these new games run on your computer really well. Yeah. <laughs> A bunch of us are old. Um, it's, a, it's that retro life, son. Uh, and that I can only hope for more of any of them. Yeah. Uh, Nate, I think you do uh, good stuff on the channel. And Ben, I know what it's like to have different issues in hanging there. And uh, Micah, who is not here, uh, I don't know. I don't know you much yet, but I like you a lot too. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> Peanut, Peanut is like, no, stop <laughs> reading this letter and pay attention to me. If you all haven't seen him, this is Peanut. He's a good boy. Um, 
I included this letter uh, with this letter, uh, both a, a list of other reviewers that you guys can check out later, and a package contents list, which the uh, oh no, <laughs> oh no. The only clue that I'll give beforehand is that you guys think back to both uh, Benjamin Suljic, oh, I, I remember that one, and his entertainment. That's in quotes. I didn't add those. It's in quotes in the letter. Uh, stuff that he gave you guys back in episode four of these. Uh, best regards to you all. Danny, P.S. Uh, I might be able to send more, but otherwise I'm not worried since I got in trouble with my family members about it before, but otherwise it's fine now. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So, is this, so this is... Uh, yeah. Um, so we've got a list of reviewers okay. here. Cool. And package content... Oh... Yeah, package contents. Let okay, me, uh, uh, you know what? Just uh, let me open that. What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the box? We just watched Seven. That was... Uh-huh. Now funny. Heather gets that joke. Because we make that joke a lot around here. All right, then. Okay. All right, Peanut, is it safe? Peanut's like, no. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's see. Okay, that. so okay. I'm not going to get in... I, I saw the list, but I'm just going to... Crack it open. Oh, hello. Oh, hell, here we go. Hello. There. So, uh, you guys might see these. Yeah. Oh, my. Nice. DualShock PS1, PS1 we got, style. We got some cables here. Uh, looks like an HDMI. And. Peanut. <coughs> peanut. Oh, God. Peanut. Peanut boy. Peanut boy. It looks like we've got uh, RCA to. Sony adapter. Yeah. Or. Oh, yeah. It's a. Oh, yeah. APS1. Holy shit. Are you there? Well, uh, I'll be there. Along with Mega Man X4, X5, and X6. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yep. Yeah. Nice. A portable DVD that. player. All right. With charge port. Yeah. What are you doing, my dude? Are you sitting in the floor? Yeah, okay. Here, here. Nothing in it. Okay. Okay. Sure. Um, wow. I got some power bricks. I have one of those. I, I had one of those too. Like for car rides. Yeah. 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 Generalized power bricks, a memory card, and uh huh. Ah. So a uh, an official Sony one too. Uh, a composite uh, S video to uh, HDMI HDMI yep. scaler, yep. which. This we is have one. one. Yeah, we have one, but apparently this one is uh, about the upscaler. I've been on a get the best video quality out of uh, uh, game consoles uh, kick lately. Well, yeah. And after that, I found out about both uh, Adam Koralik and Corey I'm and sure Try of My Life in Gaming. <laughs> uh, and then I had come across this uh, Jared White guy that told us uh, about these upscalers to help with compatibility issues. Uh, also, that's the one of them that was best rated on Amazon at the time. Yeah, cool. uh, so the one we have is... We actually have been needing to upgrade a little bit. Well, no, the one that we have is good. It's really, it's really good. It's got a, it's got a, a good feel to it. It's light. Yeah. This right here has some that's, oomph to it. That's going to be... And uh, uh, this, yeah, this one right uh, here, this one right oh, here, that's a, that's actually... a PS3 S video cable. Also, I have... Oh. PS1 games that I never use anymore. But, but uh, yeah. I this collection myself. But here's one thing. Here's one interesting yeah. thing about the adapters, the video adapters for Sony. Ever since the PlayStation One, all the way up until the PS3, and uh, yeah, they are all universal. That's they are all universal, fantastic. and they all fit no matter the year model because they've never because it, the, this was originally able to output still at 1080 like 1080 i. When they wanted to do 1080p, right. but, but still was able to output at 1080i all the way back when it originally released in 1995, I believe, in, in Japan. It's just TVs couldn't do it. TVs couldn't keep up. Mm -hmm. And then when PS2, and PS2, PS2 was actually the, one of the first consoles to actually output at 1080i. And then when PS3 rolled oh, around... Oh, yeah, he says it works still. Yeah, and when PS3 rolled around, that's when HDMI became the standard. Which, it's funny, because Kyra had just said today, I don't have a way to watch DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> it's real funny. So, so we got a lot of really cool stuff oh, here. Oh, yeah. Uh, the only one I will say, I have this one I have seen online, and this one is the highest rated. 
The other one I have seen that's really highly rated is the E-Tech City one, uh, which I've looked into buying a new one of these just so we can have one for upstairs and one for downstairs. Uh, yeah, that, just, that does seem You know, nice. for one, it, like this one will probably be our dedicated one now. That one will be in the, the streaming office. Yeah, whereas right? the one that we have, uh, we've had in the past, will be the one we have for downstairs for people wanting to play downstairs. Yes. Thank you, Danny. Yeah, so thank you so much. Thank you, friend. And also, this little thing is awesome. Man, it's just like, X4, X5, and X6, sick. I actually was in the Alpha Legacy Oregon game, right? So, what did they look like? I actually had just started uh, watching the Super Beard Bros doing a playthrough of uh, X1. <coughs> That's nice. 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 Uh, and it was just like, well, all right, we got X4, X5, and X6. Cool. All right, next letter is to Nate. Oh, God. Okay. This one we might want to take. Yeah, we'll, we'll, take we'll do, yeah, of course, yeah, rebuff them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The other two only have, like, surface scratches, so they should be fine. This is the only one that looks like it can maybe do it with a ball pack. Yeah. All right. I used to work game retail, so yeah. just as I have it to be. Might, like, might work game retail again. Yeah. You never know. Might, yeah. I've got a lot of anxiety about the fog doing it, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm actually thinking about going to work at the level. <laughs> All right, so this one is from a young man by the name of Graydon. Uh, Dear Renegades, hi, my name is Graydon, and I'm, I'm from California. Hey. This won't take long, but I wanted to say that you guys are one of my favorite YouTube channels. Thank you. I love your reactions to the Nostalgia Critic, Try Not to Laugh Challenges, etc. You are definitely the best reaction channel out there. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. That's, that's high praise, and I don't think we can live up to that. I, I have some questions though. One is, will you ever do reactions to the Angry Video Game Nerd? We've had a lot that we wanted to do in the past. It's just, I don't know. I guess it keeps, it keeps, keeps slipping, slipping past us. And you know, I mean, yeah, we need, we need to actually do one. You today. know, yeah, we're, yeah. we're going to be recording after this, so uh, hopefully soon you will see one. Yes. And uh, another is, what do you think about doing more dank meme reactions? Oh, oh gosh. God. Must the dankest of maymays, the spicy ones, uh, we <laughs> may very well. How many oh, How many rare pepes are they worth? I don't know. 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 I'll, why don't we ask the NPC name? Because that right now, everyone is like, everyone's, that's like the new, pep, the new Pepe meme. It's like instead of the, like the, you know, Pepe the Frog, just like, just like, Instead, the NPC just. I mean, I mean, the only way you could get offended about that name is if you are an NPC. So. Well, is it? Yeah, it's if you regurgitate the exact same thing over and over and over. To be oh, fair, like a, well, yeah, like a news pundit. Hey, how I, are you doing there? I was given a shirt that has essential NPC written on it. I'm like, okay, all it's right. Better than being an non-essential NPC. Yes, true. Yeah, the background character was only two back. lines of dialogue. Yeah, it does, it does mean that you can't be killed. <laughs> yeah, it, it does mean that no matter how hard Heather tries, she can't get rid of me. Uh, 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 no matter how hard you try. Oh. Call out post <laughs> in the middle of this mailbag, and you can Press always get what you yep. want. So, uh, who wants to go next? All right, next. Uh, so everybody else hasn't gotten open. Things. Yeah, we'll save so this one save for that. later. Just hand that to me for now. Okay. Okay. Uh. Now, Kyra, you, uh, Kyra, you've never been in a mailbag before, have you? No. So, Nick, have you been in? Uh, he's been, been in one. Sam and Clint were both in the last Yeah. So, so this Kyra. one, this one has been um, scaring me. Yeah, this one has been <laughs> worrying. Open that one. No. Um, <laughs> I don't want to open that. Tower. Uh, so it's from Cletus Cassidy, is what it says. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll do it. I only recently learned who that was. So and, yeah, I actually get the reference. Yep. And then, uh, how do you pick one that you want to open? Okay. Like you look at, like you look at what we have available here. We have these four okay. available. Yeah. We have, we have all of them from good old Jimmy Amazon. Yep. Yeah. I can't blame credit for that joke. Mm -hmm. I want to open the front one. Okay. All right. Go for it. Okay. So, Nick, what's your pick? You got two envelopes and a box. Okay. Nick opts to find out what's in the box. Better. Okay. And then, and then uh, guess this is going to be mine. Right you always got to know what's in the box. Okay, so Kyra, Kyra is uh, yeah. cracking in there. You want? Um, nice. Not to mention, it's no. easier to open. There's a the preparation. Yeah, yeah right I thought I found the preparation. Oh. I have much experience with opening here. boxes. I'm just dumb. No, it's right here. It's right here. Yeah. These are not things you would normally do. Yeah. 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 Ye
Can you put fresh in? I'm just done. Nah, you're good. Okay. Uh oh. That's a. Uh... Oh man. Oh my God! <laughs> what is it? That is the uh, film that um. I auditioned for. What? <laughs> no. No. what? That's the film that I auditioned for. They wanted me to play a big stupid jock. They wanted me to play a big stupid jock, and oh my gosh. That's funny. Can you see what? Uh, you know, Kyra gets to read this because she opened the package. Oh, oh Jesus. It's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello, Renegades. I give you this movie as tribute to Nate's film career that could have been. <laughs> was he denied greatness or was he spared from a disaster? Spared. You decide. Spared. Uh, spared. Uh, Wolf Fury 501. Good old Wolf Fury. <laughs> it would be from Wolf Fury. Of course. So yeah, this is... So this right here... <laughs> God dang it. Ah, that's amazing. I want to know... I've... <laughs> just... Oh, it's bad, I'm sure. <laughs> Wolf Fury, you're my new favorite today. You're, you're my new favorite today. I, I Wolf, heard. you absolute bastard. I love this. Wolf Thank does you. crazy stuff. I have heard letters of Nate's film career. Yeah. We actually found another one. Yeah, we found the other one. Yeah. We found the one he's actually in. God, yeah. yeah. This I have not seen. So, I'm, I'm, I'm in it for like a second. You he's, you're, in the, you're in the trailer, too. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm in the movie trailer for, for it. Big Stone Gap. He is an extra in the back of a church. During the wedding scene. During the wedding scene. He is in the trailer. Go look for it. Yep. <laughs> it's in uh, there. There's a hint in there. I'm one of the only people who is not one of the main <laughs> actors that's standing. Uh-huh. You'll see me if you look hard. Oh, he's there. You can't miss him. <laughs> <clears throat> Even though you sometimes you wish you could. Oh, I always wish I could. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, got jokes. I'm like a kid, I can't. No, go ahead. Just, go ahead. Just get in there. Oh, no, that is amazing. I thought I should move this box. This is from Charles. Uh-oh. Is it Charles from Charles? Uh -oh. is it Charles, Charles from Tampa? It is. Charles from Tampa? The last Stop volume that. of the girl from the other side, and I'm also sending <laughs> a small Totoro to figure. Totoro figure? Totoro. Two from Charles in Tampa. Oh, oh. the Totoro. Oh. I didn't get to hear them because they were... Just bantering, yeah. Just hey, part four. So we have the other three right over there. Actually, I'll add this to the. Uh... I'm pretty sure they're in my room. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I think they are. Because I read my neighbor Totoro. It's like all the people in the left wing. I am. All the people in the right wing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure ah! I have these in my room right now because I'm reading them. I don't know. A and B, A and B hell. A and B hell. I wish you would. Clinton, you're up. Oh, I'm up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna stop Nate right there. Clinton, you're up. It was an A and B help. When I saw me. this, I knew who it was from. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's real cute. Oh. It's so cute. We're putting that on the shelf. Yeah. Oh my. Uh oh. Bum, bum, uh, uh oh. Bum, 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 That's a script. Somebody sent us a script. Bum, 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 bum. Blood before fry. Okay. Oh boy. Oh my. Oh no. What do we got? Uh, well, give me one second because this is going to take me to read. Okay. And I do apologize for my voice. I am currently under the sea. So my throat is hating me. It's all good. I'll scream the show yesterday. Yeah, I'm not doing my Uh, no, I'm going to go get a Dr. Pepper. I'll be back. Oh. Keep going. Phil, Phil Anastasia of Blood Before Pride and Digital Deja Vu Records, collaborating with director and editor George Stuber of Monster Films, costume designer Kenneth Restrepo of Leathernecks, Tattoos, and Special Effects Makeup Artist Damien Mo, director of indie horror film All Hallows Eve, and its art, The Clown Spinoff Terrifying. To bring our fellow comic book fans a unique concept vision video for Blood Before Pride Stress, where the title track set as a score to a Daredevil, Punisher, and Carnage in a film. Huh. See if you enclose the USB thumb drive to our, our channel at youtube.com. Forward slash digitally, <coughs> digitally, boom, boom, I'll have to stop that. Uh, to watch the video complete with the after credit scene and bonus short, Cletus from Brooklyn, directed and edited by The Last American B-Boy, with our take on Carnage, Cletus Cassidy, and some of the scenes straight from the pages of Marvel Comics. Hmm. Okay. 
Damn. So, dude, uh, I haven't been to Terrifier yet, but All Hallows is awesome. Really? Yeah. Oh! Terrifier is supposedly so, like, one of the most disturbing horror films to come out in a while as well. Uh, Captain America, USB drive. Yep. Yeah, it is. Ah, oh, it's not my head! Captain America. Can I see this? And... Yeah. Down. Yes. Yeah. You got two albums. That's nice. the same albums. Ooh. Very cool. Might have to put one of these in, see how it's up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Blood before crime. Cool. Alright. Uh, Very nice. So we've got Nick and Ben. Mm -hmm. And then me. Oh, and yeah. me again. Yeah. Alright. So, uh, Nick. Captain Nick Open the box. Opens the box. Opens the box. Open the box. Don't open the box. You mean, do the uh, thing. What's in the box? <clears throat> I've had some Sure as hell isn't a piece of Winnet Paltrow. Nate, you can't spoil the movie for people like that! I hear you. Alright. You better bleep that shit out. What did you say? That movie is well past spoiler season. No, okay, alright. There are certain films where I feel like if you can watch it without knowing the big twist, you should not ruin that for people. Okay, alright. You know? <clears throat> Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll edit it out. Like I'll edit that out. Right now. Yeah, like that one, uh, Fight Club. Oh yeah. gosh. Don't. You know, if there is if there is a soul left alive who doesn't know the twist in Fight Club. Or like Six Sense, I guess. Or Six Sense. I, I don't it's kind of like the, that's the movie. What's that? Yeah. That's not like watching it if you haven't already known it. Unless it's well. It was all a dream. Uh oh, another one. Oh no. Another medic. Yes. <laughs> well, this one's going to live in my room. Okay. So we've got one on the shelf down here. Now this one lives with me. So, uh, is there a note in there or anything? Nope. <laughs> so, just somebody sent us a medic. Cool. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, friend. Thank you to that. That's awesome. All right. So. Alright. You or me? Do pixels last. Yeah. I'll, okay. I'll, yeah. yeah. Alright. I open I opened this thing, I'll close it. I started this and by God I'll finish it. Okay. <laughs> we have here uh oh. Bamboo Blade? The what? complete series? I'm sorry? I don't know. Fight for uh some fight for honor, they fight for sushi. That is literally the tagline on the back. I mean, that's a mood. <laughs> <clears throat> sushi is a mood. Okay, so Hope Chapman of the Anime News Network calls this Azumanga Adayo meets A League of Their Own. Okay, I've what? seen Azumanga, but I haven't seen A League of Their Own. A League of Their Own is uh, a movie about... Oh, uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I thought yeah, there was another anime. There's no crime in baseball. I thought, there was, I thought that was another anime. I've seen that movie. Yeah. I've seen a movie a while because my mom wouldn't let me stop watching it. Fun fact, that it is... It's still Magnolias. It is from Charles and Tampa. Yes. Uh, Hi, Renegades. Wanted to send you an anime, and this is one of my favorite series. Also, I just got a pretty sweet wall scroll of Bamboo Blade, so I'm kind of celebrating that from Charles in Tampa. Okay, thank you, Charles. Thank you, friend. Thank you, thank you again, my friend. Oh my gosh. Nick, would you mind terribly so good this up? Uh, one of my arms is uh, occupied by uh, Nina. Yes, oh. is being. Uh, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, doggo held. He sort of like occupied this space. He's like, this is mine now. He was doing that to me all day long. Yeah, he he does that. Yeah, and he's he is. He's a, a cuddly boy. Thank you, friend. Oof. Okay, I know oh, we're wow. going Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. There's a lot going on in here. Okay. Uh, also, <coughs> Pixel Cube, that envelope worked much better. Yes, it did. Yes. It got here just fine. It was not damaged at all. Please no, read first. Yes. Uh, I hope so. Dear Renegade Media Group, hello again. It is me, Pixel Cube. Hello. This time <laughs> I provided a padded envelope. Before. Uh, I get to what is inside the. Uh, we're not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read that because that one's a little personal. We're not doing it. Uh, Nate, if you haven't gotten your medical treatment, I wish you the best of luck. And if you haven't already gotten, if you've already gotten treatment, I hope you heal well. The only thing in this package I made are the stamps. The stamps are gonna be sweet. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see, inside this envelope uh, are many things. Many things. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Um, okay, so. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, my. Goodies! Here. Many goodies. Okay, first the stamps. Um, there are stamps wrapped in uh, green uh, index cards. What am I hiding right here? Uh, A knife! No! Peace, love, and harmony to all. <laughs> one of these is one of these is for me, which I think is probably the the snack one. Snack. 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 Well. Ah. No, actually, has Heather written on it. This one has Heather written on it. Uh, it says, "Please be careful it's with snack. the tongue." It's snack. It, it is, is snack. snack. It's literally a slittery. Slithery snip. And then this one is up for grabs because the person uh, no longer works here and is okay. to us. All right. <laughs> it is a it's a rabbit. It's a little bonbon. Yes, it is a precious bonbon. But oh, I look at this. It's just like hey, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> I I sorry, I read ahead. Um, Wait, let's bonbon. see. Uh, second, the puzzle cards. Okay. There are. Uh, Ten of them, yes. Divided into uh, two for Ben, two for Micah, two for Heather, two for Nate, and two for Hannah. We will, we will sit down and probably just each of us will work them and then go from there. Um, third, the blue saga card in plastic is for Ben. Yes. It's kind of ice from uh, Dominaria, which is sweet. <clears throat> uh, as I say in the stream with you, I'm sending the saga card to you and I hope you enjoy it. I will. Fourth, pixel figures. Uh, there are five in this package, a green monkey, uh, a purple hippo, a skeleton, uh, white slash ivory, it's funny that I'm wearing this shirt because this shirt is smash smash and bleached white skeleton, uh, a, uh, wait, 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 the, the alligator, and the, uh, cat, which I think is supposed to be a lion. No. These little figures are neat. Uh -huh. um, the monkey, alligator, and hippo are for Hannah, Skylar, and Micah. Mm -hmm. Or, I don't know if I figured out. Uh, the bleach white skeleton is for Ben. Yes. yes. Uh, and the cat is for Carly. All right. Fifth, uh, Batgirl. This is this is for Hannah. Oh, no. Oh, no. You, you're not ready. Uh, Hannah, I don't know if you're a fan of DC Comics, but here is a cool Batgirl figure or squishable. Either way, it's cool. No, Micah, you can't have a redhead in your pocket. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> uh, sixth, uh, hemp keychain minus the ring. This is for Carly. Seventh, <laughs> Micah. For Micah, yes. <clears throat> and then, let's see. Eighth and finally, Dig. I don't know if you've heard of the Pack a Game series, but I've included my copy of the game Dig. Uh, it is a gum box with the dog butt on the cover. That's pretty. That's a pretty apt description. That is that is the butt of a dog. Uh, this game is decent. It's meant to be a, a chill, kill few moments kind of game. It was intentionally designed, like the pack of game series, to be a full game, small enough to fit into a gum pack. Hmm. This game was necessary to do due to the setup of the game. I hope you enjoy it anyway. We will. Uh, thank you guys for all your continued hard work, and I hope for many great things in all your futures. From Pixel Cube. Thank you, friend. Thanks, Pixel. Thank you. Thank you, thank you bud. I got it. I got the smash cut to a bleached white skeleton while wearing my smash cut to a bleached white skeleton shirt. Snack. It's great. Very nice. Yo. Okay. So, <laughs> so all but this, I all this, snack. you know, it, you know, very cute stuff, very interesting stuff. I'm going to have to check this out. Yeah, these are sweet. Yeah. Also, uh, also. Like, there's a lot of fun stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> I and, still can't believe that, that. Wolf Fury sent you the movie that you were almost in <laughs> that was a thing that happened. <laughs> you got some dedicated fans, my dude. Yeah. yeah. yeah and then, did. of course, we have... And we got a, an OG PS1. Yeah. No, this ain't OG. This is, I, I don't know. I, I have, have OG. Locations. I have the OG. I was thinking that's yeah, way the PS, smaller than yeah. it should be. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. The original was like, what is that? Yeah. I've got that oh, still. Yeah. I've got that out yeah. in the garage. So, 
And I was just talking Dang. about Castlevania earlier today because I really enjoyed it the other day. You really like Castlevania, huh? Yeah. So, Very nice. I like to play Castlevania. Sorry, that's a reference to Metal Gear Solid. Ah, oh, Alucard. Yep. <laughs> so, okay. All of this, <laughs> guys, I mean, just blows me. I keep... <clears throat> I keep being blown away by how by how awesome our fans are by sending us all this stuff. You know, most you know most of it. Most of it, I'm very excited about. Some of it, I'm. <laughs> I have my doubts. <laughs> but um, good times. Yeah, I. I'm just. I'm happy. I'm that, super interested about this. Yeah, um, yeah, me too. Because yeah. they're name dropping at least one person that I actually know about. Yep. And that's really exciting. So yeah, it sounds like there's a good little crew of people who worked on this. Yes. There you go. Hey, and I will, and hopefully you'll see stuff like uh, like this like this from us in the future. Hopefully, hopefully. because we discussed during uh, the Mothman recording. Mothman. It's one of the fun, more fun parts of that recording session. When we talked about actually doing the Mothman justice. Tried to. Yeah, tried to do them up. By the way, Andrew agreed to be in the office for you. Nice. He said, as long as you write them out, what he needs to say, and give him a couple days to look at it, memorize it, he'll just want to do it. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Sounds good to me. Are, are we having Heather play the Mothman? No, I'm too sure. No, she instead we're gonna have her play like a crazy conspiracy theorist vlogger who is just absolutely obsessed with finding out who and what the Mothman is. I'm gonna is. get in trouble for trespassing this once. It's whole, or it's going to be something we build that is ridiculously epic. You know who could play Mothman for us? Who? Uh -huh. Jones. You know exactly who I'm thinking. Is it, are you talking about Chris? Uh -huh. <laughs> Because Chris is even taller than I am. Chris is 6'3", I think. Yeah. So he's about the same height as me. I thought you were going to say that. a bit skinnier. Yeah, he's, he's, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah they're a bit I don't know their heights, so. so. Mike is about the same height as me. Yeah. So, what? So that'll have to be something we discuss more in the future and find out oh, yeah. to see what lies ahead. So, all right. Everyone, thank you all so much for sending all of this in. We, this I cannot sweet. express my appreciation and I, I'm just, I, I can't help but just feel loved by all the, by all the gifts that you all sent us. And we will hopefully put all of this to good use. Oh, yeah. This, on the other hand, I might burn in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> only after watching it, though. Only yes. after watching it, because I've only seen short bits of it. And I really want to see if it's as bad as the lead actress, who I knew. Actually, I worked with her at Hardee's, and I worked with her at... A movie stars video. Well, okay, the fact that you continued working with her means that this didn't take off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, they, I feel like well, they kept is... having her do more films because they they said they liked how she screamed and also <laughs> they they liked how she screamed. <laughs> you do realize that's the only reason Faye Ray got the got the part in King Kong. I'm just saying because the woman saying. never did any more yeah. acting. Uh, of note before or after that, but everyone remembers her scream. Everyone remembers, you know, her, you know, screaming. Same thing, same thing with her. I'm not going to name names because because uh, I don't want to ruin that veil of anonymity that she has. But <clears throat> let's just say, uh, let's just say, the fact that she has a veil of anonymity means this movie probably isn't very good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Admittedly, it is not good. <laughs> Admittedly, she admitted it herself. She's like, yeah, they were gonna do a sequel to this, and I they wanted me to travel here. And so and, uh, and and here was the one thing I was just I, when I knew she wasn't gonna be in the next film, and <laughs> when I stopped dealing with those guys all together, mm -hmm. is when she said, "Oh no, they tried to pressure me into doing a topless scene," and I'm like, "They tried to pressure you how?" They, and she's like, "She asked me, or they asked me." I said, "No." They said, you won't be in the film unless you do it. She's like, okay, bye. So it's just like, okay. Yeah, they pressure her. Yeah. So yeah. And, um, she didn't do it, and that's probably for the best. Yes. So thank you all once again for tuning in, and I guess until next time, signing off, uh, do a round table. Just start here. I'm Glenn. I'm Lafayette. I'm Nate. I'm Kyra. I'm Ben. That's totally how they're around there. <laughs> this is Peanut. Yeah. And our man in the chair... Mike behind the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. <laughs>
<clears throat> oh, he said he said the same thing a couple of times. It's just yeah. you know, uh, if you want to see Mike, go check out the Monkey Island streams because he's yes. in there. Yes, among other streams. But yes. yes, so and uh, we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Bye. Bye.